What's up, human? Thank you for being on the channel. If you wish to join the Terrence family, punch the shit out of the subscribe button right now. Nino Brown ascends to power in New York City during the crack epidemic. This movie stars Wesley Snipes as Nino Brown, Alan Payne as G Money, Mario Van Peebles as Stone, Ice T as Scotty, Judd Nelson as Nick, and Chris Rock as Pookie. Nino Brown. That's a savage brother. He don't give a fuck. If you get in his way, you make things complicated for him, for him to come up, he going to blow your fucking brains out in front of everybody. He don't give a fuck. And when you're trying to come up in the drug game and you're trying to be a drug lord and shit, you ain't got time to be no marshmallow motherfucker. You're going to fall quick in that line of work. And Nino Brown and his brother G Money they have a good relationship. They look out for each other. They trust each other. Nino Brown, he got a whole crew working with him that he trusts. But G Money, he trusts the most because G Money is his brother. So you should trust your brother over everybody else unless, you know, the two guys, they got a fucked up relationship, right? You know, one brother mad at the other brother, whatever, you know, some silly shit. But you should be um, trusting your brother the most. And Scotty, played by Ice-T, he wants to take down Nino Brown. He's tired of Nino Brown. Nino Brown got a lot of motherfuckers strung out on the streets and shit off of this crack and just humans just not doing well. Humans are suffering because of all the shit that Nino Brown is pushing out there on the streets. And Scotty wants to take him down, but he wants to do it in the right way because in his heart, he wants to just walk up to that motherfucker and kill him. But that's not the way to do it. He wants to bring him in for justice so they can lock his ass away forever. And Scotty ends up teaming up with Nick, played by Judd Nelson. And Scotty and Nick, they don't like each other. But they got one thing in common. They don't like Nino Brown. So they're going to work together to make sure this motherfucker goes down. And Stone is the one that put these guys together, played by Mario Van Peebles. He's letting them know, like, hey, y'all got to do shit by the book. We want to take Nino Brown uh, down the right way. So I get why they all had to work together. And Nino Brown, he's coming up real quick, too. You know, with this whole crack epidemic, a lot of money. Him and his brother and his crew, they're coming up, man. They're super successful. They can stay in the nicest of places, eat the best kind of food, drink the best kind of wine. And Nino Brown, his girl Selena, she is bomb as fuck, like, she is that type of female where my dick would always be hard, 24-7. That's how good she looks. But uh, Nino Brown is unhappy with her. You know, she's behaving in a certain way. Seems like there's uh, some complications with Nino Brown getting kids out of her and shit. You know, I guess she can't handle babies. And because of that, Nino Brown has decided to disrespect Selena. I'm like, look, I don't give a fuck that Selena can't had no babies. That's fine. I still would be willing to throw fuck the shit out of her and fuck her doggy style until she can't take it no more and then still keep giving it to her. Be like, yep, baby, we gonna keep going because I got all kinds of testosterone and energy. So I would not be uh, disrespecting Selena the way Nino Brown was doing and playing around on her and shit like that. Nino Brown was being a silly nigga. And um, Ice-T's character, uh, Scotty, right? You know, he finds a way to get close to Nino Brown. And the whole movie is interesting, but I was really entertained at how close Scotty got to Nino Brown. And then you see things just really take a turn from there. She gets really in intense and crazy. And um, Chris Rock is Pookie. He's probably the funniest character in this fucking movie because his character is like one minute. He's just a guy doing some petty shit on the street. Another minute. You know, he's trying to do something right by Scotty. Like, hey, Scotty, man, let me take down Nino Brown. You know, I wasn't right in my head and he got me all fucked up. Like, let me let me prove myself. Let me redeem myself. Help, let me help you take Nino Brown down, man. You know, and Scotty and them give him a chance. And then, you know, certain things happen with that. But, man, there's so much talent in this movie. I feel like anytime any of these characters come on screen, you know, like how often you got certain actors or actresses that steal the spotlight from another actor or actress because they're so good. I feel like everybody was on their A game in this movie. On a scale from 1 to 10, 
one being horseshit on a hot, smelly ass day, and 10 being mind blowingly amazing. I'm going to give this movie an 8.5 out of 10. I think this is a fantastic movie. In many ways, this reminds me of Scarface with Al Pacino, but I mean that in a good way. You know what I'm saying? To me, um, Scarface uh, starring Al Pacino is one of the best movies I've ever seen, one of the best movies ever made. So for me to make that sort of comparison speaks volumes about this particular movie in terms of how good it is and the performances in the story. You know, you like, yeah, you know what? You know, Brown, like, this nigga's a fucking asshole. And, like, there are things that he does in this movie that I don't agree with. Because I don't like the idea of you not being loyal to somebody that's rolling with you. And you just, I, like, nah, Nino Brown does some shit where I'm like, I ain't doing that shit. You know what I'm saying? Nino Brown, like, there's only a couple lines that I would ever draw in the fucking sand. And this nigga Nino Brown. This nigga, Nino Brown, would cross all of them. And I only got a couple lines that I draw in the sand. But this nigga, Nino Brown, no. He the type of brother that's going to cross them all. So, you know, Nino Brown, while he's a good character, I wouldn't be rolling around with that nigga. Because I feel like I couldn't trust him under certain circumstances. You know, I feel like he cares about coming up in the game more. And he cares about the money and shit more than anything else. And uh, if you've seen this movie, you know what I'm talking about. But... I'm just saying, man, like, Nino Brown, that's a fucked up brother right there. So I feel like Wesley Wesley Snipes, man, he just, he fucking killed it with this role. He killed it, man. And um, Wesley Snipes is a talented actor. You know, a lot of humans, when they think about Wesley Snipes, they think about Blade. But he really is a good actor. He's not only just a badass martial artist, but this dude can act. And I really appreciate him. And everybody in this movie for killing it, man. Everybody was on their A game, like I said. And I enjoyed every second of it. And the soundtrack for the movie is good, too. So that also helps elevate all of the amazing scenes acted by all of these talented individuals. Thank you for being here, human. I want you to like this video. Share it with your family, your friends, whatever humans you may know. Punch the shit out of the subscribe button to join the Terrence family. Terrence out.